2008, you, you ran on a platform of, of really trying to become one of the most transparent administrations in American history. However, with recent leaked guidelines regarding drone strikes on American citizens and Benghazi and closed door hearings on the budget and deficit, it, it just feels a lot less transparent than I think we had all hoped it would be. How has the reality of the presidency changed that promise? And what can we do moving forward to kind of get back to that promise? Well, actually, on a whole bunch of fronts, we've kept that promise. This is the most transparent administration in history. Uh, and you know, I can document how that is the case. Everything from uh, every visitor that comes into the White House is now part of the public record. That's something that we changed. Just about every uh, law that we pass, every rule that we uh, uh, implement, we put online for everybody there to see. Uh, there are a handful of issues, mostly around national security, where people have legitimate questions, where they're still concerned uh, about whether or not we have all the information we need. Benghazi, by the way, is not a good example of that. That was largely driven by campaign stuff because everything about that, we've had more testimony uh, and more paper uh, provided to Congress than ever before, and Congress is sort of running out of things to ask. Uh, but when it comes to things like uh, you know, how we conduct counterterrorism. There are legitimate questions there, and we should have that debate. And what I've tried to do coming into office was to create a legal and a policy framework that uh, respected our traditions and our rule of law, but some of these programs are still classified, which meant that we might have shared them, for example, with the Congressional Intelligence Office, but they're not on the front page of the papers or on the web. 